Ruski's friends and homies, what is up guys? My name is Walt Ruski and I am ridiculously excited about this particular one uh, because I am reacting to my seventh Giz album in its entirety. If you can believe it, I'm in your mind. Fuzz, we are joined by my lovely group of companions, the Ruskies. You can see them over there. And Rumham, the guy at the very bottom of the chat. This current moment uh, is actually the guy that introduced me to Giz. I said I wasn't going to say anything in a video, but here I am doing it anyway. <laughs> now, guys understand I'm very thankful to Rumham for this because I was just talking about the fact that it's pretty rare whenever you have a buddy that introduces you to a new favorite band right like the, there aren't that many moments that you just become hyper obsessed with the band you jump into everything in their catalog you really categorize it in your head you kind of make a Rolodex of like your favorite things you revisit this shit and I've spent so much of my um, you know, white noise of brain time listening to Giz since I have been introduced, since I first reacted to Dragon. I, I, I've really gone off the Super Saiyan mega deep end. Uh, so we were counting. Um, my first reaction was uh, Nonagon Infinity. Then I did Polygon to Wanna Land. Then I did PDA, which uh, is currently not yet released. I'm still in the copyright battle on that one. Then I did Ice Death, which for whatever reason was released released uh, after PDA, but uh, got released first on YouTube. So uh, we beat the frauds on that one. PDA should be dropping soon. Whenever it does, any day you'll see this. Uh, and then um, I have also reacted to Willoughby's and 12 Bar. Both of those will be dropping as well. But uh, here we are doing album number seven for me. I'm in your mind fuzz. Now I've had, uh, I put up a poll on YouTube. It came down to uh, I'm in your mind fuzz or uh, rat's nest and this by a very popular demand one so um, we're gonna play this one so far just in case you were wondering in my journey so far my favorite album has been ice death uh, however there have been standout songs for sure um, one of the most revisited songs since I've been reacting has actually been um, 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 <laughs> Ah, fuck it. I can't even remember the name of it right now because I'm on the spot. Guys, I'm in your mind, Fuzz. We're going to do what we've been doing. Put the lyrics up there. We're going to discuss it. Let's get into this. I love yous. And before I hit play, remember, you are awesome. You are valuable. You are important. You matter. You're deserving of love. And I'm so thankful for even a moment of your time. If you like what you see, feel free to hit the like and the subscribe button. It goes a long way to help me out. If you really like what you see, join us on Twitch. I'm turning shuffle off. Thank you. See, told you they're good people. Told you they are good people. Guys, hang out with us. Here it is. I'm in your mind, Fuzz. Let's go. <laughs> when you start off with my kind of lover instead. God, balls, did you hear that? Just right before going into the lyrics there. I really, really, really love the energy of this intro. Like 47 seconds of fucking dope up until this. And then there's this like crazy spacey noise. Check this out. Immediately I'm captivated. <laughs> Yo, I'm just catching these lyrics though. Everybody's lazy when they're tired because everybody's sucking on fluoride. Oh, 
you know, they fluoridate the water here in America, which they say calcifies your uh, pineal gland, which they say uh, affects your dream and your perception of the world. So uh, it could be a thing. That could be a thing. Uh, so uh, now I'm seeing this is the beginning of True Giz Sound. I'm interested. <laughs> this this one's really in my fucking alley right now like this has the indie rock vibe this has got the ambient vibe it's got like the energy of of like i i like psychedelia me yeah i mean this is really like this is such a cool big noise this is so many things i like about music like right here and this is a lot of the vibes i liked about uh iron lung is or uh not iron Lung. i mean iron lung yes but ice death answer is this two drummer phase or one drummer one percussion phase what's going on here I didn't realize this is a concept album. If it isn't, I don't care, but it sounded like we just went one right into the other. And so this transition was bitching. This was a trans bitching and I'm super psyched about it. Like that was lit. Like, uh, all right. So I, I, I want to go back to the end of that so I can transition right there into the beginning again, because I really love their use of the concept album, just going back in, you know, uh, like you can definitely tell that they were inspired by like, you know, and I think guys like Floyd kind of rock. So guys like these could run, you know what I mean? Like what they, <laughs> fuck. All right, we're gonna we're gonna hop back into it. But again, I think the harmonica there was was super sand, mega gnarly, dope and swampy, exactly the way we like them. All right, here we go. I feel like we're on like a psychedelic Bond song. And this is dope.
Okay, so word in the street is that Spotify gave this instrumental lyrics, so I think it's kind of kind of cool um so just in case you didn't know if this really is an instrumental these are the lyrics to the to, to, to the instrumental i mean i hear it saying yep yep all right I mean, I am 6'1", so like I'm moderately tall. It's weird because I'm I'm hearing I'm hearing this song and I'm not seeing the words that there's a place in France where the naked women dance. Like I know I I mean come on tell me. I do have a qu okay, so let me ask you guys this. Is this you guys trolling me? Like, cause I know that the word hello was at the end of something that was like a, uh, like a, a vinyl exclusive, right? Like, is this one of those things? Am I getting like super sand trolled by some super giz heads that got the vinyl and they're like, <laughs> he doesn't know. <laughs> So look, no matter what you guys say now, I think I'm pretty convinced that I need to buy the vinyl to just prove to myself that it doesn't say that. Because I don't think I'm going to be convinced that you guys aren't trolling me until I just buy the vinyl and hear it. So... Yeah, that was clearly a very eloquent uh, bag of lyricism. I, I was really moved by by the lyrics there. And honestly, though, uh, so whether or not uh, I think you guys are or are not fucking with me about there being or not being lyrics in that song, I really enjoyed the instrumental. It was a lot of fun. It kind of, I love the the jam feeling it gives right like it really did feel like they were just kind of improv and hanging out and like you know uh that's a lot of fun to me Hard pause. There's a music video for this. So that means King Gizzard. We're a cello. Bane. King Gizzard. We're going to watch a music video for it. Because I have. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You guys got to tell me, by the way, ahead of time if this is a scenario where that happens. Okay. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Here we go. Woo. Can I get a woo in chat? That would be great. And of course, we're just going straight. Wait, am I going. Uh, yeah, we're going here. Okay. This one, right? This one? This guy right here? This one right here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Cool. Dope. Super Santos. Right. 
Okay. Ooh. Look at a baby stew. He looks like a baby there. I really like this song a lot. I feel like if I were in various states of uh, psychedelic euphoria, this would be a banger. <laughs> So I want to make this comment like very bold and in everybody's face like there is not another person that plays the microphone the, the harmonica like 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 Ambrose like there's not a whole like another person in the whole fucking wide world that does what that man does it is incredible it literally always blows me away <laughs> I would also like to comment that we've got two bases here. It looks like, is, is Cookie playing a bass today too? Is this like a young Joey? Is that like, what's it, what, what is going on? Do we all universally agree, by the way, that the best Joey version is the one right now with porn stash mullet? Like the porn stash mullet combo? Like if we we should make Giz trading cards and like make different versions of each of them. You could make like a catching smoke one. Like we could make a trading card game. This see, I could do this. <laughs> kind of tingled my spine a little bit. I want to hear it again. Just in case you were wondering, it did it twice.
All right, so I want to be honest. Uh, that one is my favorite one on the uh, album so far. Uh, just in case, I'm going to go to the end of Cellophane here just to see if it kind of cuts into the next song because, you yeah, know, I got to do it. Um, guys, yeah, so far, though, out of the uh, 10 songs, number three, Cellophane has been my favorite. And this is why we're glad we go to the end of the song whenever you have a video like that. And my understanding is that that was the only video. So we're hopping back in. psychedelic music i think as a person that has like synesthesia there's something that really stands out about music that you would call psychedelic music and jazz those specific to me those things specifically stand out okay i don't know why those two things stand out but there was a definite point in time when i made that connection now in this case there's a lot of noises happening and one of my favorite things are you often will see me like really press my headphones in and like close my eyes so what i'm doing is i'm like i'm listening and looking for the different sounds for example the drums they pan the drums so it literally sounds like you're putting your head in the middle of the drum set like if you could just like hang upside down and put your head out of harm's way where a drummer is drumming just right in the middle of that sound there if, if imagine that and when you close your eyes and you hear the drums just think about the fact that you're hearing the drums in your left and your right ear and you're going to hear some cymbals different in this case this sound has so many different screechy guitars it's got it's got the tons of reverb it's got this swampy ridiculously awesome harmonica right so you have all of these mega huge elements surrounded by this thump and bass line and a lot of drum sounds which again are panned accordingly and so they'll do drum rolls and you'll hear them literally go all the way around i haven't noticed for me that it's 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 tracked to specific notes um it's it, there's uh i think a lot of it has to do with like the sound i'm hearing like i would describe the these particular reverb sounds is like bubbly um sometimes they're like sharp and daggery i i don't know i, I it, and it doesn't like i don't know that it's a big conversation for another time not during this but it's 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 a big reason like i find myself so drawn into this kind of music <laughs> Fuck, man. 
has one or two woos. Can we get that? Because that was a that was a that was a that was a woo with a lot of emphasis. But that could have been it was a woo woo woo. But I don't know if we heard an echo. Can we just get a discussion in the chat? Do we think because we're doing we're doing a woo count in case you didn't know this far throughout the uh, um, we need a ruling here. Um, I will serve as ref, but I want to see what the chat says. If there's like a lean one way or the other, uh, you know, let's see. This could be five or six, but I just I want to make sure that we're all in agreement. Like let's uh, let's review the woo again, I suppose. I think it was one woo with an echo. Yeah, I'm giving that one. You think that's two? I'll listen to it again because I'm seeing two, but I think that was one with an echo. Yep, yeah, I'm thinking that's like a, that's an echo, man. That's like a, yeah, that's a reverb woo. Yeah, I think I, I, if I'm playing, if I'm playing judge and jury here, I, I, I'm, 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 yep, we're counting that as uh, woo number five. That is not a double woo. There's the ruling. <laughs> I will allow an asterisk ruling. You know, I really like the way that that part resolved so positively. Yeah, like that, that, like that, that, that. touch You know, this is another album. That was another album where they're really being self-referential to their own music within the work. Like, uh, you know, getting uh, this is this is a lot. I love this album. The energy here. I think that this is this is running contender for fave right now. It's 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 definitely like. This is the one that is speaking to me. It's speaking to me similarly to Ice Death. Uh, it's good. And this one is empty. I just want to say that this song, and if you hear something in the background, it's Clark currently drinking water. He's behind me. He's my bestie. Uh, he's a basset hound. Uh, this song is huge. I really, like, it, wow. Empty. Life is nothing like it used to be. People used to be so nice to me. Feeling so empty. Empty. There's nothing deep inside of me. Life is nothing like it used to be. Feeling so empty. If that doesn't fucking resound with you at a particular point of your life, like, you are lying. That is, that is literally, like, that is not, like, that's not goofy giz that I, you know, you hear, I mean, uh, they, they present a lot of different faces, but this one, um, 
this is maybe one of the most like eloquently spoken like human emotions I think I've seen out of them. This is that I really really like this. <laughs> And I say all of that while being totally mind fucked about what everything God uh, time signature I'm hearing. This is like Giz meets Tull, uh, meets like like emo lyricism, but like, no, I think that this is like, when I think about it, so this album came out in 2014, right? Like when I was in 20, when, in 2014, I had just met the person that was getting ready to become my wife. Uh, and like, literally, when I think about like that transitionary period of like, before I met the person I married and then got divorced from, uh, and after like this, this is like right in that same time period. Like this is probably what I was feeling like when, uh, I was their age at this time period. Like, it's kind of nice. I, I, I really fucking dig it. <laughs> This is a, it's it's its own unique juggernaut in a song right here, right? Like this is really heartfelt lyrics. Like these are these are really singing from like a fucking trudgy time. Like life is death. It's because I shot it through its head. I'm wandering around so lazily and feeling so empty. And now I know it's because I never set it in stone. I'm wandering around so lazily and feeling so empty, but I don't feel empty when I'm with you. I feel like you level me too. Oh, too, too empty. I, you know, like, it's fucking poetry. Like, I really, really, really vibe on the way that they're kind of, like, singing about real shit here. Um, and then just, uh, like, a random kind of flicker glimmer of hope. Like, in the middle of that feeling of emptiness. I, I Like, again, and the way it resolves the angst that you kind of feel from the time signature. Um, I, I mean, this whole thing, I, I this is... I don't know what the numbers or the rankings are, but this is a real big standout to me.
that kind of ended just i mean this is so many twists and turns you know what i mean like it really feels like a journey when you listen to their albums and i think that's part of the reason i love it so much and like it's so perfectly designed to listen to in a sitting and that's another thing that's really amazing to me like i love consuming music in the length of an album like to me it's every bit as good as watching a movie if not better um i don't know that's just me though but to like albums like this are just made for people like me <laughs> and you apparently oh man we got some like hard hitting lyrics after another hard hitter like dang i don't I feel like this has given me a Herbie Hancock, Watermelon Man vibe. This feels like a postmodern poem. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, like between the bass and the flute, that's where I'm kind of getting the Herbie Hancock Watermelon Man vibes, but like what uh, is standing out to me the most on this one is the bass. Is this another double bass song, like where we got both uh, Cook and uh, other home, I don't know our bass player's name, fuck me, right? <laughs> Lucas, thank you. jazzy as fuck like and this is like lit jazzy as fuck right like this is fun bass line this is like got the flute thing happening it's like tall meets jazz i and again i keep saying tall because of the flute so maybe that's wrong of me to say but i mean i really 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 think that this is just especially coming from like such a heavy hitting uh like actual like meant like written from a human perspective like really tough lyric song coming into this one um it just seems like very fun very jazz like i i mean I, it's such an interesting play, way to take this i really love it <laughs> Like it's like scenes in a movie. Mm -hmm. 
And you know, if you guys are into the brevity thing, we could change this song's name to Hot Walter. It's just an idea. Yeah, sing it with me, guys. Uh, you know, you feel free to feel free to sing along. Seriously, um, you know, please. Yeah, I guess so there's something hilarious when you go from like the word hot water typed every single time to uh, you ruin the song now because everybody can only hear <laughs> well I can only hear help Walter there you go but no when you go from hot Walter to uh, I've got ideas in my brain about the end of the world that I won't even say that's like that's a pretty gnarly one uh, I'm I'm really excited about this because that went from like pretty funny lyrics to really heavy hitting immediately I am because I, I just did what I did there I'm gonna go to the end and transition into this though give me a moment all right hot Walter there we go here we are. Ooh. This is, this is, this is, fuck. It, like, the, the folky intro. This part, it all went to the right ear, or to the left ear, and then it immediately starts transitioning. I'm not gonna go back the whole way, but just listen to this. That was amazing. Call this the best song in the album unanimously. Can, can I can I get a can I get a, can I get a second on that? Um, this is my favorite. If you disagree with me, you're wrong. I think that was number seven and eight, right? 
The Woos, I think that was number seven and eight. Yep, yep, that's eight. <laughs> So that was, yeah, that was number nine. I also, I want to comment that I knew before the three minute mark that this was the best song in the album and that you were wrong if you disagreed with me. Like, that's how quick I knew. This song is nuts. Like, again, we're into the poetry, right? Like, I'm not going to recite uh, and wax poetic any longer, but like this is, I mean, unless you want to, uh, but this one is like... <laughs> like from the different ways it goes in the song right like i've talked about like th this song kind of has its own like scenes within the movie uh which again is amazing and i have a mango nada that i've been like just getting to that perfectly soft point so we're here and we're living our best life right now I just got double woo wooed as well. Uh, yeah, so that's 11. I believe that we're on number 11 because we did nine up here. 10, 11. Bingo, bingo. <laughs> doing that with feedback noises and I don't even know how the fuck you do that I've played a lot of guitars I've made a lot of funny noises like this is probably the closest stylistically like this in in an ice death would probably be like if I were in a band I could probably be on the bands that played those albums maybe not the thrash metal -y stuff but like this is um, I don't know how you would make that noise
Like it sounds like they're poking their pickup with their string on top of the magnet with the delay that uh, into a feedback like and when I say that I mean like they're standing in front of their amp when they do it that's the only thing I can think of that would like make that noise but then like I guess you would control it by where your fret is. no I don't know I I, I, I don't know spring reverb with like some like i don't know if it had a little bit of vibrato and some chorus on it but that little ending was fucking amazing i i so i'm gonna be honest this was substantially the best song on the album this one competes like this is right up there with iron lung to me i didn't think i was gonna f i i didn't i wasn't sure if this was gonna have like a competitor for iron lung or not uh this particular album but this is like This, I don't know. I I need to hear the rest of it. I need to I need to see where she finishes up. Is Slow Jam One a music video that I need to be looking up? Is this uh, something I need to be doing? Slow Jam One Giz. Let's go. What do we got? Is that a video? Yes. Links in chat. Thank you. Thank you. You guys are wonderful. <laughs> Big ups to chat for that, by the way. Let's see some dubs in the chat for the mod Sarah, by the way. She's the best. Everybody, everybody. Oh, I did the wrong one. Did I do the wrong one? <laughs> My bad. Sarah did a great job. I, however, did not. This is the first time I've seen Giz with a Rickenbacker, by the way, but I also really love the synthy sound, the bass line here. It's kind of got like a Tame Impala vibe, um, but like it's very, very much Giz. <laughs>
so honestly, like, I'm gonna save what I was gonna say. I think that the slow jam was kind of the sexiest song on the album. Like, by the way, I'm gonna do this. Flightless Records, I don't know who they are, um, but this is definitely like one of the sexiest ones in the album. It, it definitely gave me like a Tame Impala vibe, kind of like a Kron Gabin vibe. Um, you know what I mean? Oh, that's the record label. Got you. Got you. Um, but, I, it, it, but it also, like, a, l a little bit of a Parcels vibe, if that makes any sense. But, like, I really love it. Because, you know, and again, I've said it before, but, like, when I was traveling with the band, like, these are sounds I was, like, kind of finding I identified with myself, right? So I spent a lot of time trying to make big, spacey, reverby sounds. Um, and you know, with that, like, I, I, this just feels so much like music. I've spent so much time learning how to play already. Like when I think about the context of like their tones, their guitar stuff, like it feels like these guys and this album would be like a fun group of guys to just sit and jam with. And it's like, it just makes me very happy. It makes me think about a time like when I would like jam with people and i would not be anywhere near this like level i don't want to like give that like make it seem that way but it just feels like music i very much relate to so it hits different than like pda does for me right like because this is this would have organically found me pda i acquired a taste and uh, for thrash metal before i found pda i never had to acquire a taste uh, or a love for an indie rock sound, right? So this is a little bit different to me. And I mean, the slow jam really, really hits a lot of things I really love about it. Uh, so now let's actually start with uh, Satan Speeds Up. Here we go. This is correct, right? <laughs> I didn't realize that, uh, wait, is this Ambrose on a skateboard right now? say because it looked like he kind of did like a little wally bonk right off of that like like that that like light like bass if if that was him like he's got some pretty rubbery legs i <laughs> If he's goofy, then he hit that and switch, and that means he's way better than I thought he was going to have been. <laughs> That's how good he is, Rum. <laughs> the 
this song, kind, this video kind of reminds me of like something you'd see on Reno 911. You know what I mean? Like it really has like a lot of cheesy going for it. Like, it, it, but it makes me laugh. <laughs> Yeah, after this uh, particular album reaction, we're gonna watch Ambi Skate Part. <laughs> This has a lot of big kind of. It kind of reminds me of like Jefferson Airplane a little bit. Um, I the 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 flangy guitar sounds with the big reverbs are nuts. <laughs> Confirmed. Ambi hit that nuts, Wally, and it. He is not. He is not uh, goofy. He is regular. <laughs> also, very much, uh, very, very much uh, Zappa guitar sounds. I, I, I very much agree with that. Um, okay, let's get back in over on the Spotify. Uh, guys, we hit last song. Oh my god. Oh, so Slow Jam was the the most listened to song on that album. I'm kind of uh, kind of surprised. I thought it might have been empty. Here I am thinking, look at me. I was actually like a like a you know rooting for an underdog song there. That's how you know I really like Giz. I liked the deep track naturally. <laughs> Shit, I want to take it from the end of this song into... There we go. There we go. That's better. And before the last song, uh, Sereki redeemed a bang, and I don't know if you guys knew this or not, uh, but it's 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 a good enough time to remind you all that you are awesome, you are valuable, you are important, you matter, you're deserving of love, and I'm so thankful for your guys' time. Thank you for being with me through this album. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and say it now. This is now currently on first listen, tied for first with uh, Ice Death. I will let you guys know in an updated tier list if it ends up winning later, but for me to you all, bang uh thank you for being ruskies thank you for introducing me and listen along and uh you know joining me on this giz journey it's so much fun and i'm so thankful i have people to talk about good music with from me to you guys thank you for being here bang I love this. Wow. I love this.
there's some really beautiful lyricism here with some really like discordant uh synthy sounds there in the background and it's such a contrast that it, it makes me scratch my head, brain a little bit but also smile like cautiously <laughs> that sound it sounds like this part was inspired by the law and order uh, the law and order intro I heard the law and order intro there boom boom this whole fucking album right like the thing that makes me really tuning fork in my loins about this album is that there's just it's like every single time you think you have kind of a good idea at the sounds you're hearing right like we're that far into the song and every single time it's like and you're like what the fuck was that that wasn't a part of the like that wasn't on the fucking palette a moment ago like I didn't think that that was an orderable item on the fucking menu, but here we are here in the do -do 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 -do. it's 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 really 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 captivating, like and it constantly keeps you interested. Um, I, I I have a hard time like it's not music that you can space out to, uh, because because there's always something different that like snaps your ears back to listening. <laughs> I feel like so many of their albums and their works had to have been written in, in in just a process of improvisation. Like I can't imagine that they sat and planned all of these individual parts. They had to have just thrown these down. I imagine that maybe they didn't play it all live for all the albums. Like maybe they fine tuned their parts. But I really think that they probably built the basis of their songs by improvising. I can only imagine that like out of everything I hear this just has too many elements of jam band to it for it to not have at least some roots within improv and I also get like a really big the doors vibe here like big time on this instrumental Yeah. 
you're actually right. Okay, so now I feel like a big old dingleberry because you're right. It literally says slow jam too. Uh, yeah, yeah, here I am like, fuck me, right? <laughs> like, I know that's not why you said it. I'm totally bullshitting, but that's like, yeah, I totally should have picked up on that. My love. It's also got like some, let's call it like Beach Boys and Beatles vibes in this particular, right? Uh, like part, like with the harmonies I'm speaking into specifically, um, like when you get into this. Like the Smiley Smile album by the Beach Boys here, uh, for sure, uh, is kind of kind of a little bit what I'm hearing. what i'm talking about right like that 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 high pitch uh synth key thing that that just came in there like that's another example of what i'm talking about like and that might have been the same sound i pointed out earlier right like up uh on this part but it's 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 just what i'm getting at like it's it's enough there to stick out to, like grab your attention back <laughs> sir what was that do you hear how different it sounded from where we just came from to this <laughs> I, I think that this is also definitely the uh, best harmonica work I've heard Ambrose do uh, in the in, in the collection so far.
is so Doorsy for sure. I can literally hear Morrison singing this in my head. Jesus fuck. I want to hear it flip a bitch. There we go. So here's my thoughts. I, I, <sighs> this is definitely still kind of feeling like specimen days giz, right? Like, it still feels like they were still coming into themselves. That being said, I mean, I feel like I like Ice Death is <sighs> they're right here. I don't know. I I I don't know which one I like more. But it's this is they're right here. They're right fucking here. I will let you guys know. I like I love this one. I mean, it really did captivate a lot of emotions from like really deep, hard hitting, very human. Everybody knows how the fuck it feels. Song like empty, to like a massively poetic, like artistic beyond all measure song like hot water. Uh, but then to finish going from a song like empty to a song like hot water right in the middle of the spectrum to like her and I, right? Like you have both ends of the spectrum of human, like humanity, uh, and kind of everything that comes in between with like hot water. I think that when I think of I'm in your mind fuzz, I heard a lot of conversation about a lot of random shit. So like when I think mind fuzz and concept of hot water, right? Like let's like if you looked at the lyrics of hot water, for example, and I'm just pulling them up here, but like this is really like you ever just get into a brain repeat, like just say random shit in your brain. This is this is like kind of one thing I think. But then when you think about the deep shit, like the moments you love somebody, right? The moments you feel totally empty. I think that's the mind fuzz, just like the narrative that's happening in your brain the whole time. And I feel like I'm in your mind fuzz is like somebody is saying that to him or like, I don't know. I really love this. I want to chew on the album a lot more. I'm going to continue to give it a bunch of listens, but all in all, like this has really been one of like, it's, it's a top two Giz album for me right now. It's this and Ice Death for shizzle. Um, guys, I love yous. Uh, I'm so thankful that you decided to hang out with me for this album. I'm in your mind fuzz. This is really awe inspiring to me. And you know what? really right around a tight 40 it's good length for an album that's an easy drive to town you know what i'm saying thank you so much for being around uh if you guys again like to be saw remember to hit the like and the subscribe button remember your value and continue to be the best until i see you next remember every wednesday is giz day on my twitch channel so 9 30 or 9 o'clock uh p.m gmt minus 7 i will be streaming a uh giz album until i run out of them guys uh feel free to stop by i love yous talk to you later bye